Okay, in this video, I want to show you how you can go from testing a workflow to finally running it and then running it at scale in tables. So we're going to use a very simple workflow to get started right here from the, the workflow library. Uh, enrich a person from a LinkedIn profile. So we click try this, it shows up right in our dashboard and I will go ahead and run this. You'll notice we want to test it in the build view like we did in the last video. And we will run this under the run view copy and paste this and this will give us a single run of it so I'll go ahead and pause while this generates she didn't have to pause because it went so quickly holy cow look at that okay so this gets enriched and gives us some more information pulled out my professional email which is accurate uh, where I work the department the domain age perfect so this is more information that might get loaded to a CRM or something for potential outbound or, or ABM whatever you're using these leads uh, after they're enriched for. If we wanted to do this at table though, let's say we had an entire list of LinkedIn URLs of prospects we wanted to reach out to or people we wanted to learn from or learn more about. Whatever your end goal is, let's say that you have a list of this LinkedIn of these LinkedIn URLs. You can go to the table view. And if you have a CSV file, you can click import and you can drop that CSV file into here and it will map out to your input so you can run this at scale and in bulk. So just another moment, we'll, we'll hop over to another workflow. And here we have the table view of another workflow that we've run several times where it goes from keyword to a full length blog post with all of these little tasks along the way. This truly is a really cool automated SEO process, um, a really fun workflow to, to, to play around with, especially getting the style right at the back end. But for now, what you can see is this table view where we have the keywords here. We can import a list of keywords from Ahrefs or SEMrush, whatever tool you're using. We can put them directly into here, run this at bulk by the hundreds, thousands, and endless amount of generations that you need. And then you can take the output and you can export it into a table as well. All of this can be exported very quickly or you can use the connections and integrations to send the output where it needs to go. And that's what we're gonna cover in the next video. How do you get all of this information to be where you need it? How do you send it to the sales department or the marketing department? How do you send uh, information via Slack or on an email? So we're gonna dive into the integrations and connections in the next video. For now, this is where you can run a single workflow and then head over to the table view and you can run your workflow at scale and in bulk.